All right, meet Timmy. Timmy the tool stand. Timmy doesn't know it yet, but he's part of a product testing and he's gonna get burnt. Well, maybe he just, just, he's gonna get burnt. So, I hope you guys enjoy this and uh, well, with that being said, let's get into it, shall we? All right. Now, as you can see, it is not uh, wet. There's no tomfoolery, no trickery or anything like that. So what it is, is there's a fire guard. It just has this uh, protecting on it, flame retardant. Uh, I'm sure they come in different um, types of, uh, you know, brands and things like that. This is just the one they sell around here and one that I have used in the past. So just read the instructions, pretty simple. Um, it works great. Uh, make sure it's dry, clean, um, everything else. Now, <clears throat> what it is, is I put that between um, cars, trucks, SUVs, whether they're new or brand new paint or uh, even a used car. I don't want to damage somebody's car and, uh, you know, with the welding BBs, grinding dust, etc. They could be on these blankets, you know. Um, you even touch them on the ground, they'll collect stuff and all that. So I don't want to do that. So I think, uh, you know, without further ado, I really do think it's time that, uh, Timmy get some testing done. What do you guys say? All right, now I got that uh, out of here. So, you know, I got the proper gear on. We can get to really testing um, Timmy here. And I would use a grinder, you know, cutting wheels and things like that. You know, they will burn a t-shirt and cause it to burn. Most welders have, you know, ooh, almost got that fly. Most welders have been, uh, you know, welding before and using a plasma cutter. You know, even if it's on 20 amps, you know, e even, <clears throat> here, let me come over here. Even if it's on that uh, 20 amp setting right here, and uh, this is the cutting mode right here. You need to have it set between 70 and 80 PSI. I'd set it between at 75. Usually I'm running between 30 and 40 amps, somewhere around there. Um, when I'm cutting stuff, I'm usually cutting eighth inch thick material, so I usually set it around there. But, uh, if I go any lower, it kicks the air on, so, <clears throat> and that's the selections for everything, the scarfing mode, when I'm cutting welds off and not wanting to penetrate all the way through, but this is for the cutting mode, and that's where I'm set at currently, so. What I will be cutting is some 16 gauge. Um, the reason I have the 16 gauge as well is I'll be um, doing the battleship out of 16 gauge material. I had to get the plasma cutter so I can cut all the material that I needed and things like that. And that's the reason for making these videos. Um, this is 11 gauge, which is approximately 8 inch thick material. <clears throat> Sorry, the 16 gauge is approximately 16th inch as well. I should uh, say that. So. I forgot to tell you that, but uh, 11 gauge, we got the H, approximately 8th inch thick, and 20 amps, uh, Lincoln Electric sells a 20 amp, Lincoln Electric 20, that uh, they say they can, you know, it can cut up to 8th inch thick material, and um, it'll, uh, you know, cut through it and everything, it'll cut up to, or maximum, I believe, a quarter on 20 amps, so, you know, we'll turn it down as low as I can get on my big machine here and uh, let's have some fun with that um, as I said I'm not going to use the grinders we all know that can, can do it but it can usually takes frays or a pre-existing hole <clears throat> excuse me it takes a pre-existing hole in your clothing or something like that now this is not for a clothing demonstration like I said I'm just using it on him because it's what I had it's for putting it in between the cars. Um, I don't want to damage the cars, uh, you know, any more than they already are. I don't care if they already came in scratched. If I'm working on something of somebody else's and I'm trying to even help them out. Uh, and in the past is what this was. Uh, when I'd work on things, I, I would put a um, just a bed sheet in between. Um, with the fire retardant spray on it so that way it didn't catch on fire um, now this is going to catch on fire of course but it's not going to spread so i shouldn't say catch on fire um, but it's going to catch on fire but it's not going to want to spread throughout the whole article of clothing um, 
and you'll soon see that so i think first off we should uh, of course blast it with the plasma cutter and uh see how that does and how it fares against a couple different things and maybe i'll even step up the setting a little bit and um cut with different no nah, yeah i'll tell you what we're gonna leave it at 20 it's gonna cut slow i know this is a 20 amp i tested it just real quick and did a couple you know just a test cut real real fast just to see how it did and just make sure so um let's get started here shall we i did not cut any success Let's start with your 16 gauge. You'll follow away a little bit. Alright, now his clothing is going to blow away. So, once it cuts through. So, it may seem close, but I'm sure it'll blow a little bit farther away. Get pretty close. We're still eight to eight to ten inches away. I'm eight to ten inches away, and it was still, you know, splatter burning it. it Go to where it don't uh, quite quite move as much, and uh, you see the whole torch head here. And we'll get I'll get a good measurement for everybody. And if you want to, you know. Confirm that you can check my community page and I'll put a maybe so, may move that just a hair on ya. So. Right, right there should be good. Now I understand you're not gonna be cutting sparks directly at you, but as you can see it's definitely burning at that distance away you know from uh here to here and then some because it's pushing back in so i measured to that edge there and i'll get that measurement for you i have no issues you can check my community page out i'll have a, a picture of that against a tape measure for you but uh my guess is nine and a half ten okay whatever we'll see but <clears throat> you can see the clothing did not catch on fire it did burn it um didn't catch on fire so i don't even think we need to step it up to that eight <clears throat> eight eighth inch uh material or 11 gauge rather so you can kind of plainly see that it uh what it does there now let's intentionally catch this stuff on fire of course we know we're going to catch it on fire here but as you can see we're not burning the uh, material um you can see it's starting to smoke okay but uh we did not catch that material quite on fire it, you know you can still see the fabric look at that okay mm. all right and uh how about how about this now timmy he doesn't know this but uh, <clears throat> Timmy, the tool stand, his back, it's not, um, it's not coated with that uh, fire retardant spray. So, the post is right there. Approximate. Not start a fire because, like I said, it down here. now, like I said, it may not start a fire because there's no phrase or anything like that. Now we're about uh, three inches away. Well, just 
You know, Grandpa, I'll get it going here. I had more amps, I could probably do it. You can see it really uh, did some damage to his shirt there already. Now we're going to torch him because we're going to see the difference between uh, what the uh, fire retardant does versus that. And we're going to put that out nice and calmly just like a welder would. You know, oh man, Timmy, you're on fire, buddy. You're on fire. Okay, so we put Timmy out. Timmy's now safe. All right, Timmy, good job. Don't worry, it won't burn too bad. But you can definitely see the difference. So... Uh, what the material does. Timmy, I hope you aren't on fire, man. Dang it, Timmy, dang it. Timmy, 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 Timmy. We lost him.